Hello and welcome to Small Bites, equity strategies for busy people. Hello, Um, I know that I said that I was going to be off this week, but I can't keep silent. It's been a traumatic couple of days. I did not sleep well. The pictures that I couldn't shake, the words that I was hearing from the from the Capitol Hall floor, even after a siege, I'm thinking, God, is this America? But then I remembered that we have been taught about an idealistic version of our country. And I know some have a hard time with quote unquote critical race theory and feels like we're, you know, don't speak ill of the dead kind of a thing, except, you know, America's not dead, but we have got to begin to not see this as a one-off. You know, every time something happens, George Floyd, (gasps) that happened in America? No, it was a one-off. Oh, we were, oh my God, I got to do something. Two months later, business as usual. Same thing. Oh my God, did you see what happened at the Capitol? Two months from now, this will be forgotten. All but forgotten. And um, I was listening to a a newscast about the Oklahoma bombing. Do you guys remember that? Do Do you remember that? Or the bombings of abortion clinics. Do you remember those things? We've had some ugly moments in history. This is not a one off. It's not a one off. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to have conversations? Are you going to move beyond conversation to some small kind of activism if it only means, even if it only means just to, you know, contact a congressman and say, hey, that's not okay? Does it mean you're going to volunteer more, donate more, plant a garden in a neighborhood that has uh, that has no fresh food, free, food meh, that has no fresh food resources? This is a one take. I don't want to spend a lot of time with you, but I do want to implore you. Don't let this blow over. Most of you will. Even now, as I sit here, even now, as we are all in outrage because, oh, my God, that's America. Yep, that's America. If we don't look at our uh, our, our ugly wounds and find out what's under the Band-Aids we put on them, the Band-Aid of we're the greatest nation in the world. Guess what? You I, what if you find out that America did some bad things? Are you gonna say, "Oh, I can't, I don't love you anymore"? What are we two? So the bottom line is, take the rip the band aid of the great nation. Great America is a great country. Great does not mean perfect. It doesn't mean perfect. It means flawed and able to keep going and do better. You know, we went from slavery to civil rights. We went from genocide to starting to make reparations and give back sacred lands. You know, we are not nearly at a place where I can say, oh man, we got it now. We're not that kind of great, y'all. We still got a lot of work to do. And what we saw yesterday was a huge tell. So I'm simply saying to you, don't let this blow over. Don't let it blow over. There will be another news cycle event where you will remember that you wanted to do something. Whatever that thing is, put it on your calendar every day. Put an alarm on your phone. Whatever activism means for you. If it means more volunteering. If it means means being more intentional about the media you consume or more intentional about how you decorate your classroom to be inclusive. All of those things, whatever that thing is for you, Don't let this blow over. Because yes, if the people who stormed the Capitol had looked like me, there would have been carnage. And no, I can't prove that. It's just a wild statement. But if you look at what the presence was in summer when there were Black Lives Matter protests versus the way they were prepared now, yesterday, there's a big difference. And there's a certain privilege in being able to storm a Capitol and threaten congressional representatives and sit in Nancy Pelosi's office and take a selfie. If you believe that that could, you know, that George Floyd could have done that, 
and got away with it, then probably small bites is not, you might not come back and see me. I, I don't know. I hope you do because there's, there's riches, there's richness here. There's, there's stuff to learn. Anyway, that's all I want to say is don't let this blow over. George Floyd blew over. Tamir Rice blew over. Breonna Taylor blew over. It always blows over. It's a new cycle. It's here and then it's gone. But let this be a wake up call. If we want to be great, then we certainly have to be better.